Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about the vapor fly next percent after 400 kilometers. Interesting observer is for the shoes today. <laughs> I call it the dwarf shoe. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I'm really excited to talk to you about the Vaporfly Next Percent. Why would you ask? Because this is one of Nike's super shoes. And um, I'm sure you know Elliot Kipchoki or Elliot Klipchoki. I hope I'm saying that right, sorry. Um, the athlete that broke the sub 2 hour marathon. Now this is one of the shoes that he uh, used in the attempt to break the sub 2 hour full marathon. And uh, but let, let's just go back to the start. Nike created a 4% running shoe, which they said would increase your speed, your running efficiency, and the energy return by 4%. And after creating that shoe, um, they looked at everything after uh, designing that shoe, and uh, they used that as a stepping stone to create this awesome running shoe. Okay, so with that, they created the next percent. It's got more energy return, more speed, and more um, running efficiency. Hence the name Vaporfly Next Percent. Now, this is really a magical shoe in all aspects. From the midsole, uh, packed with a lot of Zumex foam, more than any of its predecessors. It's got a carbon fiber plate neatly in embedded into that midsole. And uh, um, it's got really a cool design. I don't know why they designed the heel like this, 
but what I can say is don't try and walk down uh, stairs in these they tend to touch at the back all the time really from the uppers the midsole and the outsole this is really a magical shoe so a lot of records have recently been broken by the by athletes wearing the Vaporfly next percent and the cool thing is they're available to the public. Oh, um, I did some research and after a lot of discussion and debate, World Athletics deemed the shoe legal for road races, but not yet for track and field events. And if you go and look at uh, most other brands, they've also followed suit and you'll be able to find uh, carbon fiber plated running shoes and basically any um, running shoe brand now. Not to talk about the Alpha Fly that's been a, a available for a while already, that has um, visible AirPods on the on the forefoot. But most elite runners still prefer the Vaporfly Next Percent. If you just go and look at races happening all over the world, but but the the cool thing is this shoe isn't just for elite runners; it's for your regular runners as well. Now regular runners um, have recently been uh, doing tests and, and sharing that to, um, to the public by saying that if um, they don't change the route, they don't change anything else except their running shoes, they say that if you would probably run a 5k in 35 minutes in your regular running shoes, putting these on, you'll probably be able to run it in under 32 minutes. And that's not changing anything just changing the running shoes I don't know if it's the shoes that snap you forward or is it the mindset when um, putting these on but they do definitely make you run faster and uh, if you do decide to buy a pair of these I wouldn't suggest using them for training runs I'd rather use them for races because they are quite expensive and uh, overpriced may I say I would suggest doing some research on the correct running shoe for your needs even if they cost a bit more and uh, but eventually they'll end up giving you more performance and avoiding injuries so yes it's not a great idea if you're just looking for a pair of trainers adding to that that these um, have quite a short lifespan but let's just think about that for a moment because a lot of uh, runners have recently shared that they get over 900 kilometers in a pair of vapor flies before they start to tear and fall apart but i can't really say that as yet i've only done 400 kilometers in them and the most wear i can see is on the outsole adding that i've only used them for time trials and races being normal or, or virtual really take them out for one or two normal training runs the first time you put them on just to get yourself used to the feel in these and also uh, for the shoe to conform to the shape of your foot before attempting any races in them <laughs> when you have them on they'll definitely put a smile on your face and uh, they're really really nice to run fast in but i haven't really tested out their full potential yet just because of the lack of road races currently with virtuals being the norm nowadays okay but before I talk more personally about what I felt when using the shoes let me give you some more information about them uh, starting with the uppers now the uppers is awesome it's a translucent material called vapor weave and uh, it's almost like a plastic like feel so that when it does get wet the water just runs off it but uh, it also dries out really quickly and then what really sets them apart is the offset lacing system that the shoe has well the main goal for that was to reduce the pressure on the top of your foot to allow the uh, blood flow and also to get a, a nice lockdown so that when you run fast in the shoe your foot doesn't slide in the shoe at all although it's a small mission to put the shoe on uh, I would always make sure that the tongue is nice in place and it doesn't fold over anywhere and then I would uh, take the shoe out for one or two strides come back and lace them up again 
just to make sure they don't get loose anywhere along the way. All right, so we're looking at the yield counter. They've got a nice thick foam pod that works great for fit and comfort while also reducing the weight. And then while we're on the topic of weight, uh, let me just quickly put them on the scale just to get an idea what they actually weigh. This is in my size UK 11. And then uh, if we qu quickly look at the stack right here, it's uh, 40 mils in the heel and 32 mils on the forefoot, which gives it an 8 millimeter drop. Now the shoe's got really a nice and funky inner sole, but on the outside it's got a, one another sticky compound, so that when it's placed in the shoe it doesn't move around at all. Um, so just be careful when taking them out, they're quite difficult to put back exactly into the correct uh, place where it should be. But let's just put them on the scale yeah, quickly. And yes, as I said, this shoe is very light and it's in my size 11. So yes, awesome shoes. Now every part of the shoe's construction, uh, reducing weight was front of mind from the uppers to the midsole to the outsole. But when we, when we look at the outsole, they used a little bit thicker rubber here on the forefoot with deeper grooves just to channel out water from under your foot, which in turn uh, gives the shoe excellent traction. And then if you would use the shoe running more on your forefoot, it will probably give you a lot more mileage. Okay, now we're looking at the shoe. They really uh, look good considering the amount of kilometers that I've put on them. Really, uh, I've looked after them as good as possible. And I've cleaned them with a wet cloth and some soap. And I use a brush to clean the outsole. But wear and tear on them, the most I can see is yeah, where the Zumex foam, which is really soft, is exposed to the road. And also the rear um, rubber pod, yeah, which is a hard rubber, but it probably touches the road surface a lot there as well. Uh, if I look at the Zumex foam, it has a lot of creases on it, on both sides. But there's actually no sign that the shoe is flattened out at all. Actually, the shoe fits my foot like a glove now. It, it is really comfortable to use. And then lastly, the only other place I can really notice somewhere is here on the uppers, where my toe touches the uppers a lot. What I've noticed is I end up running more on the heel part of my shoe towards the later stages of my runs. Now, I think the biggest, that, the biggest reason for that is the shoe just wants to snap you forward. It just wants to run fast. And what I end up doing is I end up running too fast in the early stages of my runs and then end up running more on my heel than what I should. So really be careful for that. The shoe just wants to go fast and you might end up running too fast in the early stages of your runs. But over and above that, this shoe is really comfortable. The biggest advantage I found after using them is my recovery times are much quicker compared to any of the other shoes and I also feel less fatigued when using them. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be first in line to receive my videos as they get uh, uploaded. And then I'll uh, see you on the next video. Live your life to the fullest and enjoy every moment. Oh, and don't forget to have a look at my running uh, shoe playlist.